I'm out here trying to encourage uh, a ceasefire in the Middle East uh, with Israel and Palestine, trying to uh, convince my member of Congress, Jim Costa, and also President Biden to support a ceasefire. As a citizen in a democracy, it's the responsibility of each of us to recognize what's going on. This is happening in view of the whole world. And we need to tell our elected re leaders that they do not represent us and they are doing something that is totally inhumane by allowing the United States at the top to use its military and to continue to use its money and its power to perpetuate this genocide. It would be nice if the U.S. were an independent broker, but we know the U.S. is, is very pro-Israel and not, uh, not strongly in favor of Palestinian rights. So it probably would have to be some other country that's more neutral in this uh, to be an independent broker. There's no way that the United States can be an independent broker because we are part of the problem. We are, we, the United States, with our taxpayer dollars, is a big part of the problem. And nobody should ever say only Israel has a right to defend itself and not mention that Palestinians have a right to defend itself, themselves. But it's uh, also the right to defend yourself doesn't justify war crimes, doesn't justify uh, slaughtering tens of thousands of, of innocent people because you're going after a handful of people. My overall message is that we must do everything we can to stop this genocide. Ceasefire is the very first thing, but we as citizens in a democracy must stand up and say this kind of inhumane behavior by our country will not be tolerated by us. You know, I mourn the, I mourn the loss of Israeli lives and I mourn the loss of Palestinian lives. They're all equally valuable and none of them should have been killed like that and it's just getting worse as the time goes by. You hear all these cars honking as they go by. There's a lot of support, a lot of support out there for a ceasefire. People don't like seeing this uh, unnecessary carnage in, in uh, Gaza right now. And so we got to put pressure on our elected officials to try and uh, bring an end to it.